whose intro is it? What? Who cares? Okay. Let's go. Hi everyone, Argon Matrix here. Welcome to episode 30 of Let's Co-op Super Mario Galaxy. And I'm here with my good buddy... K.A. Six Scope. Yup, and it's like super late at night and it's super hot as balls and we're ready to go take on the final galaxy, I guess. When is it ever not hot as balls? Do you ever hear us complaining about how cold it is? Not really. <laughs> I know. Not even in Canada, because you get accustomed to the climate, so you expect it. But Exactly. When it gets like really cold, do you think we'd say cold as balls? I don't know. I think we say cold as a witch's tit. But yeah, I, well that applies with hot too. That's the one like universal. Yeah. Oh shit. Weather describing phenomena. Mhm. Mm I think when it's cold, I just say it's cold as fuck or cold as shit. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh hey, <laughs> I didn't know we could do this. Uh, this comet observatory. <laughs> Sky rockets in flight. Na 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 na. Man. Well, that would have been useful earlier, kind of? I think the thing is though we needed more power stars in order to do that and blow up everything. Uh. Yeah, because there's only 121 of those in the world. Let's just make that our fuel source. Oh, she said go Mario. There's actually voice acting. <laughs> First time in a while. Could have just used coal or redstone power, man, to fuel that shit. <laughs> Did you use coal or redstone to power this? What the fuck? No, you use the seven sages to power that. Damn. <laughs> Although there's a Fucking warp field the inside the castle, too. It's like... <laughs> like, what? You'd think it'd just be outside the cat, Like, the castle would be part... I don't know. Oh, the fate of the universe, how... Holy shit, is this epic. the last, like, main story star right here? Yeah, this is, this is it. <laughs> Holy fuck, We finished dude. the last dome last time, so what else could you expect? Look at that. I thought there would be, like, three or four stars here. Holy fucking balls. No, this is the, this is the fate of the universe. Do you think they're gonna play with this shit? No. Oh my god, it's like they're totally copying this from Twilight Princess, the Iron Boots. Like, <laughs> I think. Goron Mine. Well, no, thing. I guess because GameCube. Yeah, fuck, Twilight Princess did come first. Wow. Holy shit. Axor. None nonetheless. What? Nevertheless. Stupid me. This is still. It's actually pretty hard, this part with these fireballs. It can get kind of nasty pretty quick. Fireballs in my balls. Mm. Hot as a fireball. Uh, oh my god. Hot as a fireball is just <laughs> that just makes too much sense. Exactly, and that yeah makes too much sense for us. Cause baby, you're a firework. Baby, Ooh. you're a fire stick. Mm -hmm. I love this final galaxy. By the way, it is so atmospheric. It's just perfect. Pretty epic. You think it's better than the final galaxy two galaxy? I mean, like normal game wise. Like the Bowser's galaxy generator one. Yes. Yeah, this is way better than that. <laughs> Quite frankly, uh, the final battle is more awesome too. Other than the, like, I guess the end of Galaxy 2's final battle is pretty epic. But oh fuck. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. But this something whole... about this game, like I said. You know. Oh shit! I remember if you leave these platforms too long, they like start vanishing. I don't. I think they should vanish right away. It's like ice blocks next to a star. You think that would? Yeah. Well, that, yeah. That it's Mario would... game. Technically, none of this shit should exist, but it does. I guess. Yeah. Welcome to my life. <laughs> Whip through that shit quick and in a hurry. Oh yeah. I'm just like, hey, oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, oh my fuck. god. I didn't. I didn't know. I thought I was gonna hit that fire ball for sure. That fire flame. Fire dicks. Fire dicks. Oh no. Yeah, this is pretty much just like a fire stick gauntlet. This entire thing, really. Yeah. It just takes you from like to each element for a planet. Yeah, it is pretty cool how it's just like, it's like this whole game within a single galaxy just like, reminiscing, you know? Yeah, Yeah, they didn't really do that in Galaxy 2 too much, there was no galaxy that really had like, everything. Oh, and that's kind of cool, I guess. Maybe this game is better after all. Uh, I mean, I mean, I still, I still, I still think Galaxy 2 is better just in the grand scheme of things, but this game is really good in its own aspects, it did a lot of things better. It did, it's close. Yeah. It's and not it as bad as the pioneer of its genre. Well, not, not, no, but you know. Yeah. I don't know. I I wouldn't go as far as to say better, but I still. It's not as bad as a lot of people say it is in comparison to Galaxy right. 2, I think. <laughs> God, this planet. What, what was Bowser even like imagining when he was designing this whole grand galaxy? He must have just. <laughs> He's like a There's kid no in a way. he's like a kid in a candy store, and he just like he's just like th just throw everything in like bonsai bills too. Every. Just, 
he's like fucking Omega Edge 29, he just drag and dropped everything from his little menu onto it. <laughs> exactly, he's just like, alright, I've filled out all these galaxies with, with like their individual stuff, now just throw everything all at once. He's like, right click, select all, drag. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No control. Paste. Like, completely disable control X. Exactly, just fuck that. Go nuts. Which is oh. pretty crazy, I mean, that's why I think he couldn't have designed this, because he just goes down in battle like such a bitch all the time, so there's exactly. no way he could be that smart. Oh, did we reach the end already? Oh my god. Oh, snap. Oh, I love this house, like this just final straight stretch to the very end. Oh, hey, it's Peach. Mario! <laughs> Look how big baby Bowser was in comparison there. Did you see that? Yeah. His nose He's... was like the size of her head, or like twice, three times the size of her head. He's quite, he's quite the fat fuck, yeah. Yeah. You gotta lay off those jelly donut little Debbie, little Debbies. Mm. Mm -hmm. Smart balls. Smart balls. <laughs> what made you think of that? Because uh, jelly. I'm so jelly. Episode one. All right. I don't know, man. Mm. I was just standing there. <laughs> He's standing there while his son does all the work. He's resting up for the big battle here. Finally, you got here just in time to see the. Cr fuck it. <laughs> time to see my fuck it. Wash and weep. Oh, Bowser Jr.'s got his bandana on. Oh, so he should turn into Shadow Mario. Yeah. From this galaxy, I'll rule a great galactic empire with Peach by my side. It will last forever, or at least until Galaxy Two. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and now starts. This is probably next, I don't know, next to Mario 64, this might be one of the hardest final Bowser fights. Cause like, oh my god, he even goes in roll a dillo form, holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, freaking, like, Sunshine and Galaxy 2 are just child's play, but this one actually is, doesn't really fuck around. It starts off pretty yeah. easy, though. That's that's another reason why I like this game. I think we talked about this, too, is just because it's, it's, it's harder than Galaxy 2. It really is. Oh my is. god, yeah. It's a lot harder. It's harder. It's hard as keratin in your in your nails. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. With I that. was trying to avoid making a boner joke. <laughs> hard oh, as my fuck. dick. <laughs> right now, because I'm fighting an epic battle. Uh, oh shit! Oh my god! I forgot. How does he have two shells there? That's, that's what. He cut it in half and folded that shit like a peanut butter sandwich. There you go. Peanut butter Bowser time. You know what they should do? They should make like a game. Where Peach doesn't get saved at the end, and her ca being captured lasts like two games. Like there's no happy ending. You you just Bowser got away, and then you gotta get her in game two. Oh, that that's way too storyline intensive for a Mario game. I guess that's true, isn't it? Oh, fuck! He keeps running over the plants. I don't know. They gave Bowser like four dialogue boxes in this game. That's pretty. That's a big step. I guess so. Yeah. It's like shit. I wonder like how much their story writers actually get paid, like people that come up with that shit. <laughs> Seriously, it's like it's gotta be like a thousand dollars a word or something. Yeah, for some shitty ass words too that I could have basically come up with. I mean what did he say watch and dude, weep? Dude, are you kidding? I mean, this huh. is this is like fucking Spielberg Shakespeare stuff. I guess, yeah, I did cry a little bit there, I was trying to hide it, but I didn't I have know. to pop it or not. I mean you fuck do you think Mother Three is the pinnacle of sadness? No. Pinnacle of Emotion? Yeah, it's this game right here. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Well, actually, this plan is kind of cool. I like this one. And the music here does convey some sense of emotion, at least. Oh. Yeah. In fact, we might I just guess. have to be quiet for, for a little bit, but you can't hear it, so... Bum, 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 bum. That's Galaxy <laughs> 2. This one's just, like, it completely builds up, and it's really, really epic. Oh, I'm running the wrong way. Oh. You know my favorite Bowser fight music actually is the um, the final final Bowser fight, like the very very last one in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Oh my god, that, that shit is, is beautiful. So epic, yeah. Oh my god, Goodness. even the one where you regularly fight him, you don't get to hear it that much because he's really easy to beat. I don't know. I think this song, actually listening to it now, it's, it compares even almost better than that one. To me. Well, that's just because you're in the heat of the moment, man. I guess so. Yeah, I'm just overwhelmed Fighting. by the by the sheer epicness of this fight. Exactly. I don't know. I mean, not that I can judge. I've actually, I don't think I've ever heard this music. I don't think I've ever even watched a full LP of this. Oh, shit. I don't think I've ever seen this fight. Really? Well, yeah. I well, maybe in Chugga's. Okay. It was the first time for everything. Yes, 
so I think it's just about done here. Let's hope so. Kick his ass, sea bass. And is that so it? Long, yeah. Oh, right in the face, man! He just punched his ass. See that turned around. in an instant replay. <laughs> See how much his head was jiggling there? He was like, blah, 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 blah. why does it always end like that too? He just kind of like stays in midair, like Looney Tunes esque. Oh like, well, not this falls. time. He just fucking plummets into <laughs> the lava. You Ow. know, that's a good question. I wonder in how many games has Bowser actually like died at the end, like realistically should have died, like this one. New Super Mario Bros. Wii. I know he has. He died. Super, Super Mario Bros. 1. What'd you say? Did she say the original Super Mario Bros.? Because it cut out a little. Yeah. God damn it's Okay, good. yeah. That's God. true. Yeah, that too. Mm, oh no, like the inside of this planet used to be all pretty, but now it's like dark matter shit. Whatever that is. <laughs> well, better than red matter. <laughs> red matter is poop. Mm, let's just take a moment to... Indulge in our fuck it. Uh, if there was a super secret place you could, like look in the lava and you see Bowser's like head poking out and he's just like swimming. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Like in Galaxy 2, remember that area in Grandmaster where there's those people standing on the canyon? Oh yeah, I'll have to like cut in a clip of that because no one knows what the fuck that is. Yeah, that was so crazy. I remember when I found that that time, I was just like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> that was crazy. Oh my goodness. Thing. Well, that's our that's the final Grand Star, folks. And of course, Peach just randomly falls out of the ship. I, I yeah. Because <laughs> she's such a clutch. I guess Bowser Jr. probably just threw her. He's like, I don't want this anymore. <laughs> it's like, my yeah, dad yeah. is dead. What purpose do I have with this? This is pretty epic. Oh, this it even is... goes like part to the actual level. Yeah, yeah that's the like literal start of the level, except for that like the gravity thing. Oh shit. Well, that, pl that random planet is just collapsing. It's good to know. Oh no, too bad. One <laughs> random planet out of like the thousand I visited. Yeah. But the thing about this random planet is that it's the one that... That Bowser is on, somehow. Okay, he should be <laughs> melted into pure molten organisms, but alright. I don't know, he takes like baths and lava all the time. He probably got his skin rock hard now. Apparently he's not one for like saunas though, it's probably really steamy there. Mm. No, my galaxy, my empire! This can't be happening. Well, I guess he doesn't really die here unless it shows him going into the Oh well yeah, that's gonna kill you. <laughs> probably. This is one of the more dramatic endings to a Mario game, I love it. Especially this, I think it's coming up right here. This this fucking thing is amazingly Black hole. this, oh this is God. beautiful. Well, not, not yet. It's not beautiful yet. Well, it is, but it's not the thing I was thinking of. <laughs> it's just randomly Mario. He's like, what? I don't know. Just flailing for his life. I'm not sure anything could really survive this. Um, no, unless they just end up in a different part in time. Different space in time. Yeah. Oh. This could explain the Nintendo logic, like... Time flaws, you know, like Wait, no. timeline fuck ups. Oh, now we can't spin because our, our Luma killed itself. The power of cuteness saves the day, I think. But we actually can spin. No, After actually, we can, actually, we can't. You're lying. <laughs> well, I don't know. If, I don't know if there's any sequence of gameplay after this event, but we shouldn't be able to. Right here, this is where it gets awesome. Like, look at this fucking. This is like a quasar or some shit. Oh my god, that was a brand of VCR I used to have. It's also one of the most destructive forces in the universe. The funny thing is, too, I had like a question on one of my quizzes, and I remembered that the answer Ooh. was Quasar, but I didn't know it, and then I looked at my VCR and saw the answer, and I was like, oh my god! <laughs> nice. So coincidental. I think what they're, what they're insinuating here is that everything just kind of started again. It's the Big Bang Theory version, too. Yeah. And I guess Rosalina is God in this metaphor. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Can I redo? Do you hear the baby? Oh yeah, if you listen closely, there's crying. Mm. I, might, I might turn up the volume for that or something. Mm. When stars die, they turn to stars and scatter across the cosmos. Eventually, that stardust reforms to create a new star, and so the cycle of life continues. No! <laughs> Man. Oh, this is really kind of 
touching. I think I actually did. At one point in my life, I remember shedding a tear at this. But <laughs> really? Yeah. I what part struck you the most? Just the. I guess it was just the atmosphere, like the music. You can hear like it's just the most, this most serene thing. Mm -hmm. Something about. It. I guess it was just like it was probably the first time I was playing the game, and I was just into it. So you were much. just so overcome with emotion yeah. from beating it, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. <laughs> He's got a butterfly. <laughs> oh, man. It's the most random thing you'll ever see. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a butterfly in a Mario game, like, besides little random ones, but, like, in a cutscene and shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's Guppy. <laughs> there's a random one jumping out of the water. Oh, man. see Yoshi on top of the castle. Oh, yeah. There's that fool. Carrying a hundred lives. And there's Bowser's ship, I think. Like, yeah. What the fuck is yeah, that? Yeah, there's doing Baby here? Bowser. What the hell? They're not invited to the party, bro. I guess it's just the the celebration of eternal bliss. Look, there was Dino Piranha. Oh my god, I never noticed that. He was sitting in the square. The first That's boss cool. was just sitting there, like enjoying an ice cream cone or something. Taking a piss. Going something. to Denny's. I don't know. Oh, there's Bowser. It's like, oh, we're all friends here. <laughs> yeah, I guess, just like, our ultimate destruction in the universe, but, was, but then, like, the Loomers were like, no, we'll just give everyone a second chance. There you go. Yes. All new life. Carries the essence of stars. Even all of you. Ah. So happy. And he's like, cool. <laughs> I have no idea what that means, but awesome. So is that insinuating that like Mario and all them died and then were just like reborn? I think I don't know. It's really, it's one of the more, I guess, cinematic. It, I guess this te really is one of the more storyline-driven Mario games, mm -hmm. and they actually executed it pretty well. But, <laughs> but it's hard to take it seriously because it is a Mario game. Yeah, and you're just not used to that. You're like, well, okay, great, but what is this? Yeah. But if you really, if you really get into it, like I did at one point, then it's just like. It is it, yeah. is, it is a touching thing, but... Yeah, I, I, this, this was a good fucking game, man. It is a good fucking game. I'll give it that. Sentimental shit. It's so good. So fabby, oh my god. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this is probably one of... Uh, it, it might be one, like one of two times I've ever seen credits in the LP. Because we still do have to go back and do purple coins and trial galaxies and stuff. Yep, there's still... How many stars do we have now? Hundred and Was that our 103rd? That was 102, I think. 102, so yeah, we still got, you know, I think 19 more to get, or roughly. Yeah, well, tech, there's like 18, and then there's like Grand Finale, which has like, I guess, two stars technically. Yep. Mm, oh, snap. General Burrows. But there's still going to be like major quite Burrows, a few... Actually. Yeah. There's still going to be quite a few more episodes, though, because these next ones are like the worst stars in the game, pretty much. <laughs> the worst stars in a game. I thought you were saying like Worcestershire or something. I don't know. Worcestershire? What the hell is that? I don't know. It's, it's like there's like this town or some place in like Britain or something. It's like called. It's like spelled Worcestershire, but it's like pronounced like Worcestershire. Worcestershire. It's like Worcestershire. You're just like you're like mashing all the letters up in your mouth and you're just and you're just chewing them like. Last night's spaghetti. You don't choose. It's like spaghetti. you're trying to say Worcestershire with your mouth covered, like Worcestershire. <laughs> exactly. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Spring Mario, right there. That's crazy. Yep. Gotta love this reminiscing. I don't know. I don't know if I like this or the credits of Galaxy 2 better because Galaxy 2 is like more interactive, but this one's just like. I guess this they each just fit with their own game because each game has yeah. a different atmosphere. Galaxy 2 was way more playful than this one. This one was more dramatic, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I definitely like my share of dramaticness. I mean, shit, you know, Final Fantasy and Shadow of the Colossus are my favorite games. Those are dramatic as balls, <laughs> yeah. but Galaxy 2, I don't know why I just like it better. I don't know why I like the playful one better. Know, just but... just do. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's just because we, did, we didn't realize soon enough that this was a dramatic-esque game. I mean, I do now, and even now, I mean, I would be willing to put it in front if I thought it was better, but I, th I mean, it's good, but it's but th too close. 30 parts in, and now we realize, oh man, this is a good game fucking game. It's actually a pretty good, yeah. <laughs> this is a tasty game. 
I will say it is up there though now. It's like it's pretty close. To the oh, I love too. that screenshot right there. That's like physically impossible to perform in the game against Boulder guys. Like have like six bomb boos, but like, <laughs> but it's so cool looking too. Or I'm just spinning six from Boulder guys. Is like, oh shit, I'm fucked. Exactly. <laughs> There's Bowser Jr. with his perfect smirk. BJ man, BJ. Mm -hmm. Special thanks. So these are just the people that I guess slept with the development team or something. Oh uh, yeah. But they're all foul names. There's, the, name. there's that final battle with Bowser as a rock. So stupid. <laughs> it's cool when it's happening. But oh, yeah. And he just never decides to use that power again, ever. Yeah. I love how he's just like, he has like his hands and he's like reaching around the outside and he's just like, I'm just peeking at you. He's just like poking his head out. He's like, where's he? Where's he at? Exactly. The hell? Oh, the end. Bum, 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 bum. But it's not really the end, is it? Nope. Not yet. Man, I'm surprised this ending actually lasted long enough to like fill a whole episode. Oh, a new chapter. <laughs> and the purple comet has appeared. Oh, finally. Those are the, you will come to despise those words appearing on your screen, trust me. Yeah. Well, actually, no, I think that's the only time it appears. It's just, and then it's just like... It's the purple comet. There's only one purple comet and it just goes from galaxy to galaxy. Exactly, but you're gonna learn to hate it. It sucks. Yep. It's All hard. Right. So, yeah, here it is. There's our file. 102, 1364 sabits. Uh, there's the file that we copy to. Well, there you go. Here's we some. are getting there. Now we've got that gold crown, I guess. Yep. And, uh, well, I guess, I guess we'll just end it off here then, won't we? That's probably a fitting place to end it off at the end of the there game. You know. But It's the pseudo finale. Mm hmm. But not really. Let's have a Mobius strip of a finale. Let's just start a new one. Yeah. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> I don't right. know either. Well, thanks everyone for watching this episode of Let's Co-op Galaxy, and uh, tune in next time. And uh, we'll we'll proceed to I guess, to, I guess the actual end game shit. I guess so. And for now, in some we just watched the credits, so now well, let's watch the intro. Why not? Yep. You know? See, the game is just a never-ending cycle of fun. It's like. It's, yeah. If you ever want a game to ungrump you, it's this one. Look how happy this is. Okay. Well, goodbye, folks. Yeah, most extended outro ever, but bye! Peace, yo!